the human body. It's an amazing thing. But I'm going to tell you something about it today that's going to blow your mind. For I have a word from God that he purposely designed its outward physical appearance in order to deliver the highest truth of all to mankind. What we must do to obtain eternal life. That's right. In this age of massive church deception, the answer to that all-important question is written right on our bodies. And every human being in the world has the right to know this fact. So here it is. When I was writing the book God commanded me to write back in 2008, one day God told me this. He said, Gabriel, do you know why I created you with ten fingers on two hands and ten toes on two feet? I didn't have a clue. He said, it's because I knew from the foundation of the world that my complete law of love would contain ten commandments. And so I wanted my children to have a physical, seeable reminder of them right in front of them at all times so that they would always remember them to do them. And then he blew my mind with this. He said, Gabriel, this is why I wrote the Ten Commandments on two stone tables for Moses at Mount Sinai to make the connection between them and mankind's bodies. See, I could have easily written them on one stone table, but I chose two for the purpose of confirming to mankind that their two hands containing ten fingers and their two feet containing ten toes really are their own personal, seeable, physical copies of my law of love, the Ten Love Commandments. The very ones that if they will strive to live by them, which is what it means to fight the good fight of faith, they will obtain eternal life, just as my son taught. Well, as you can imagine, I was blown away. But he didn't stop there. He continued on. Gabriel, I even planned for Moses to break the first set of tables so that he would have to come back up the mountain where I could make a second set of them. And I did all of this to again confirm the connection between them and mankind's bodies in the fact that I made human beings with two sets of them, their hands and their feet. Well, I was overwhelmed. Goodness gracious, isn't that amazing? Just think, every day of your life, you are staring at your own God-given God created, God hewn copies of the two stone tables containing the Ten Love Commandments. Listen, treasure hunters today would love to find the Ark of the Covenant. You know, the vessel the two stone tables were laid inside. They want to find it and open it and see those precious, priceless tables. Well, just think, they don't even realize it but they have their own personal copies of them right on them at all times, handcrafted by God with one-of-a-kind markings, their own unique fingerprints and palm prints. In fact, on that matter, imagine the incredible irony behind this. For decades now, police have used fingerprints and palm prints as the physical evidence to determine whether or not someone has done good or done evil. In other words, whether they have kept the Ten Love Commandments or not. Isn't that amazing? The person's own hands and feet, their own unique copies of the two stone tables containing the Ten Love Commandments, wind up definitively determining whether they are guilty of breaking them or not. How's that for incredible irony? Imagine a murderer strangling someone with his own hands. Oh, man. Can you see it? They have no clue the tragic irony behind what they're doing. Their hands were to be their own personal reminder to always strive to live by the Ten Love Commandments, 
the ones that literally say, thou shalt not murder, and yet they are using them to break them. How about the man who flogged Jesus? What did he use to hold the whip? His hands. How about those who punched him, pulled his beard, or hammered the nails into him? Oh, man. The remarkable irony. Well, God must have known I was pretty blown away about all of this back in 2008 because he didn't tell me all of what he had to say. But I didn't know that. I thought the conversation was over. But six years later, he told me the rest of the story. For one night in 2014, he dropped this bomb on me. He said, Gabriel, do you see those shiny, glassy things on the end of your fingers and toes? You call them fingernails and toenails. Well, besides your eyes, they are the only other glassy-like surface on your body. And do you know why I put them there on the tips of your fingers and toes? It was to deliver another message to you. Just as you're able to see out of your glassy eyes, well, I'm able to see into your heart. And I'm weighing your every thought, word, and deed with respect to the Ten Love Commandments. So you should think of your glassy fingernails and toenails as windows, which I'm looking through, judging you with respect to how your life is aligned with each of my Ten Love Commandments my complete law of love. Oh man, folks, what could I say? Stunning, shocking. Friend, for this revelation to fully sink in, you have to realize the 10 love commandments govern every aspect of your life. In other words, you can't have a single thought outside of them. So every day of your life, you're either obeying them or you're not. And God has placed these 10 little glossy, glassy things, these little windows on the tips of each of your fingers and toes as a physical picture of what he's doing in the invisible spiritual realm every day. He's looking into your heart, into your soul, and weighing it in the balance with respect to these 10 laws. And keeping them has always been our duty in obtaining eternal life. God's word says, I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward each person according to their conduct, according to what their deeds deserve. Well, check this out. What do you use to do your deeds? It's your hands and your feet. Your feet take you there and your hands do the work. So just think, on Judgment Day, it's going to be extremely sobering for people to realize the deeds they did with their hands and feet are going to send them to hell. When the whole time it was their hands and feet that were to remind them of God's Ten Love Commandments, to always live by them to make heaven. Now listen, if you don't fully understand how the Ten Love Commandments govern every aspect of your life, I want you to visit our Ten Love Commandments website and read or listen through each of the Ten Commandment pages there till you grasp the full weight behind each one of them. When you do, then and only then will you be able to see the incredible awesomeness behind God creating us with ten fingers on two hands and ten toes on two feet. Then you will be amazed at your glassy fingernails. Then you will understand how all of Jesus' teachings were based on the Ten Love Commandments when he was instructing us on how to live to obtain eternal life. So God wants you to think about the things you're doing with your hands and feet each day. Where are your feet taking you? What are your hands doing? 
Try and remember each day that your hands and feet are a picture of God's ten love commandments. Allow God to talk to you each day through them. Let them be a permanent reminder of his law of love to always live by it. Well, I don't normally do this, ask for help, but I need your help today. I need you to help share this message with the world. God longs for everyone in the world to know this fact about their hands and feet. So if you're watching this video on YouTube right now, right below the video is a share button where you can quickly and easily share this video to Facebook, Twitter, and many other places. If you're watching it on Facebook, there's share buttons there too. It's a simple thing to do, and yet most people never think to do it. And you know what happens? This message dies right there with you. It goes no further. Friend, we live in amazing times. We have all this technology right here at our fingertips, connecting us to the whole world. I mean, we could literally change the world. All we have to do is use it to deliver God's truth to the world. So will you help me? Let's have a love revolution. Let's make the Ten Love Commandments popular again. Let's spread them everywhere and have a global revival. Let's get everyone to know the truth of God's message behind their hands and feet. Well, thanks for listening. And always remember the words of Jesus. If you want to obtain eternal life, keep the Ten Love Commandments. Visit 10lovecommandments.com to get your copy of the beautiful 10 Love Commandments poster. This poster is a biblical masterpiece and a must-have for every household and church. Learn how the two great commandments, to love God with all your heart, and to love your neighbor as yourself, are a summary of the 10 Love Commandments. Learn how all sin is based on disobedience to the 10 Love Commandments, and all love is based on obedience to them. For example, learn where hatred and forgiveness fit into the Ten Love Commandments. Learn the powerful salvation equation, which clearly explains God's duty and your duty in obtaining eternal life for your soul. Learn how all of Jesus' teachings, when instructing us on how to live to obtain eternal life, every parable, story, and direct teaching are based on the Ten Love Commandments. Learn dozens of biblical phrases that mean to keep the Ten Love Commandments, like, be sober and vigilant, the patience of the saints, and to know God. Learn how your two hands containing ten fingers, and your two feet containing ten toes, are your own personal copies of the two stone tables God inscribed with the Ten Love Commandments. Get your poster today, hang it on your wall, and let it encourage you daily to always do those things that are pleasing in God's sight. The Works of Love One night back in 2011, while the Ten Love Commandments logo was being designed, Gabriel had a vision of the two M's in the word Commandments, changing into the two stone tablets. And the rest is history. The Ten Love Commandments logo was born. Today, Ten Love Commandments Ministries is passionate about everyone in the world knowing the full truth behind God's Ten Commandments, how all of Jesus' teachings were based on them, how all of our thoughts, words, and deeds are governed by them, and how they have all been known by mankind since Adam and Eve sinned. Our goal is to make the divinely inspired Ten Love Commandments logo known throughout the world in an effort to lead the world to the truth of God's Ten Commandments. For this cause, we have printed the logo on posters, t-shirts, and bumper stickers, with keychains coming soon. And we have plans for hats, beanies, vanity plates, window decals, mouse pads, and more. Unfortunately, to make these items inexpensive for people to purchase, we have to order hundreds of each item to get a reduced per item price. Therefore, there is a substantial upfront cost. So we need your support. If the Lord leads you to help in this mission, we would deeply appreciate it. 
please use the PayPal Donate button on our website, which securely accepts credit cards, or send check or money order to 10 Love Commandments Ministries, P.O. Box 814, Hermitage, Tennessee, 37076. Thanks for your help.